The images in the video that you'll see in this vlog may be disturbing to you. You may be offended by them. So we just want to advise caution and an open mind if you're deciding to continue watching this vlog. Day of Sacrifice is a huge holiday that's celebrated here and we're actually going to go check out um, a whole ceremony here. And as a little bit of background information, a day of sacrifice, also known as uh, a cook figure that like pronunciation out right here. Um, it's also known as a day of sacrifice, much easier to say. And it's basically a commemoration of when Abraham offered up his son Ishmael um, as an act of obedience to God before he could actually offer up his son as a sacrifice. God sent his angel Gabriel and offered, who offered a ram in his son's place. And so every year, Muslims in countries like Indonesia, they do a huge animal sacrifice offering. And they divide the animal into three parts. One part is for the needy or the poor. The second part of the animal is divided into um, a portion for relatives and family. And the last portion of the animal is saved for the family itself. Today we're actually gonna go check it out because we're here when this is happening, so let's go see.
Ibu Awi Prangorjo dan yang terakhirnya kami. Sit right there. Unless you feel like that's too much in the sun. Like obviously everything, every part of it is gory. No, no part of it is, you know, a pretty sight. And I started getting woozy. I could feel myself. I started sweating. I felt my mouth get like watery, and I was like, I just felt like I was about to puke. And I didn't want to like be acting like that in front of all these people that this is their culture. Like I didn't want to be disrespectful, you know. Because at the end of the day, these animals were not treated really with a whole lot of disrespect or anything, and they weren't killed inhumanely. They brought the animal down and they cut its neck and they tried to do it like as quickly as possible. So it wasn't like it was like this terrible thing. And if I eat meat every now and then, or if I ever used to eat meat regularly, like that makes me a hypocrite because this is how they die. This is what they do on farms back home in America, except for it's probably a thousand times worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy like seeing like how it's actually done, you just be bridge and all this stuff all the time, but seeing how it's done kind of like puts you off a little bit, but then you realize like how many people this is going to feed. It's like a celebration out of it, so sad seeing like an animal off to the sides, eating, living, breathing, and then a minute later they're laying down there. For a minute after that, they're in 125 different uh, tenderloin pieces. And they're about to, they're about to eat good, man. They, these people see all this, all this blood and all this meat and bones, and they think I'm about to eat good. That's why they got this '90s uh, hip hop music playing. Looks like they might be weighing the meat and then they divvy it up to you know different places where it's going but as I mentioned earlier a third of it goes to family and friends and the poor and then the rest is for themselves so I don't know if they're like divvying it up and weighing it but um, all the bags have little tags on them so I don't know. You got friends. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> guy over here has got his hands on his hip like this, like somebody's grandma in the kitchen all day cooking fried chicken. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, I almost threw up, but I feel like I understand the reason why they do this and this is part of their culture and I think coming into a foreign country you just have to respect it and the fact that they allowed us to be there. That was such a personal thing for them and for us to film like openly. I would have felt uh, more weird about filming if I didn't see other people with their cameras and stuff. So I was like, yeah. as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, it's... But it was like locals doing it. So the fact that they let us as outsiders, just like having really like up close and personal and no questions asked, no one looked at us funny. Yeah. I think that was kind of neat. And how do you feel about like seeing that actual ceremony and like what happened? No, I think it's, uh, it's what they do. And it's not like they... Uh, they didn't feel like they were being uh, inhumane with the, the animals. And they're gonna actually eat the animals, so it's not happening anyways. Yeah. So, I mean, it'd be the same thing. Like if we had like an Easter ceremony at church and everybody brought like a slab of ribs thrown on the grill. They just slapped their own ribs. Yeah. I'm sure that we do things as Americans that if we had these people come into our world, they'd be like, what, do you guys do this? I want some ribs. I want some ice cream. You smell, you, you, I know you smell the grills though. So, we are out, we're closing this vlog out. Uh, I think it was almost like really cool and honor to be here during this time. If we had been just a couple days later, we would have missed this. So pretty, I mean, pretty I can't cool. say it's pretty neat. It's kinda I mean, it's cool that we were able to experience. Yeah, even though half of this is probably gonna be blurred out. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, vlog out. Oh,